I was on a roll, becoming richer and richer, raiding bases all over, be it Center, Aberration or Crystal Isles, reinvesting most of the profits directly back into my solo base location. However, seeing as I went on quite the raiding spree in the last episode, I decided to further strengthen my position on Aberration as a solo player in the hopes of a better chance at survival. And to give you a better chance at survival or not missing an upload from me, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Thank you. Now I had left out a bit of information, I had a velo on the little edge whilst upgrading and it had fallen off, notified in my tribe log it had been taken out and I had found the culprit. Two shots and they were out for the count, primitive most likely, but their gear, not so much, a really good shotgun, a bunch of C4 and even a ton of shells, gear that would help me immensely. But of course, once done looting, back to the upgrades. For now, this was the finished product. Heavies at the very bottom to watch my 6 and prevent players from getting anywhere near my base spot. Turrets lined on the hatch frames acting as a death wall to the entrance originating from the metal protrusion. All of this with the paramount goal of stopping players getting close to any ledge in the nearby vicinity of my base. My solo base location was now stronger than ever. But as for my gear, not so much. I needed to fill in the missing pieces, so I headed over to Crystal Isles and had come across a lucky find. An unconscious player lying down next to a wyvern, boasting blueprints, a cryoed wyvern, amongst an assortment of other things, but the main highlight being the long necked PP and cryoed wyvern. Once done looting, I next the loot crates. It was a short loot run, but this is what I had stored and looted. The second last piece to my abnormal puzzle amongst other items I had acquired from the player. With all of the items now secure, I returned to the loot crates. Another successful run, not as bountiful as the last but still useful items nonetheless. I returned back to home base with the intention of depositing all of my winnings. However, simultaneously would like to take you back in time, roughly 24 hours back. I was out and about in the green zone scouting for my next target when I had come across a peculiar finding hidden behind a few leaves and residing inside of a popular base location. All it had was a lonely foundation paired with a bloodstalker. I decided, hey, I'll leave him, give him a chance to build up, you know. The next day I returned and the foundation read, demolish. Oh wow. I decided to take out the stalker and was astonished with what I had found. Oh my god. So I just killed this blood stalker that I found here. I was planning on leaving it. I found it the day before and I saw this tribe, Repticulator. So I thought, you know what, L let me leave this tribe, let them build up or whatever. But all I saw with this wife was this uh, blood stalker. And I... Oh my... I don't have anything else to say. 29 C4 on it. On a level, l literally nothing Bloodstalker. This is crazy. Let's take a look at the blueprints. Because I saw some useful items in here. For example, pump BP. Best, better than whatever we have. Okay, we got a bit of what BP. I saw a Stego BP somewhere. Here's a Stego BP. Here's, a, here's another pump BP. A helmet BP, not as good as what we have, but we'll take it. And on another PT BP. Like, some tames even, we've got wyverns, a 206 apprentice pump, had a grapples, and then I guess weapons, bowlers, the usual kit stuff. I mean, we can take it, always add it to our kits or whatever. Rudimentary items, I'd take it as you never know when you'll need them. I first went back to home base to deposit everything I had acquired from this lucky hidden find, and made my way over to a place that for those who've been watching from the very beginning of the series, should very well recognize. A hidden cave located quite closely towards the radiation zone, and residing just about in the blue. I raided it not too long ago, only this time they had a death wall, and I? Spontaneous plan forming within. Alright, I'm not sure what this is, but the spot we raided a bit earlier? Well, it looks like someone has set up, and it's just autos, so... Right now, I have, I do have a bit of a kit on me. 
So, but I, I am realistically, I am contemplating just going in there with a the Bloodstoker. And even though I don't know what's behind, judging by the primary defense, I think I'm just taking the risk. Here we go! Oh, win, win, win. Oh, he's on a Baryonyx. Oh. oh, we made it to the back. I was now inside the belly of the beast, and as bad as that may sound, I now had a much better idea of what went on, defense-wise. Of course, the owner and his Baryonyx. A crafting station just past them. And further ahead, a Stalker, as well as their Death War. We're, we're safe, kinda, not really. We're, we're trapped in the belly of the beast. That's essentially what is going on here. He has a Bloodstalker, which is bad news for us. We need to locate his generator. I steadily kept forward with the Bloodstalker to test the distance of the turrets. I'm making headway. I think that's his generator right there. In front of me, a one by one box. It had to be the generator. The sound was emanating from it. Here's the player. He's on his Bloodstalker. Now that overpowered tame was my only worry. If it were able to pull me in, I'd be toast to their death wall, like bread is to well, a toaster. Oh my, he set up another turret. Clever. Another turret as the others couldn't reach me. If he hops on the Bloodstalker, we need to, we need to kill the Bloodstalker. Come on, come closer with the Bloodstalker. The Baryonyx. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it was another team I could take out. I took cover behind the cliff platform. The enemy player had mounted the stalker. I'd have to be careful. A few shots, and from what I could tell, the player was unable to pick me, so I continued. We need to kill this Baryonyx. Okay, Baryonyx dead. Let's switch off Flak. Okay, Flak's good. My only worry is that Bloodstalker. He's play he's actually playing quite smart, not gonna lie. The waiting game, smart. But I took out his Bulb Dog to give him a reason to fight me. Let's try and find a reason to aggravate him. The generator was right there, but I couldn't go for it. He was around the corner with the Bloodstalker, and if I were to go for it, the situation could be fatal. I'd have to find another way. Bloodstalker health is doing okay. Okay, I'm gonna blow up the start with this rocket launcher. Not smart. Need to shoot it like that maybe. Boom, turret gone. One step closer to solo raiding the space. The only thing standing in my way was that Bloodstalker. I'd need to find a way to take it out. What level's that Bloodstalker? Oh, it's a decent level. We got the Bloodstalker, nice. Now the Bloodstalker was a fairly high level, but if I could take it out, I'd be the one dealing the cards. My man's really set up another tu turret. Second rocket misfire. It must have glitched out. I slowly stuck to the wall and crept behind the Baryonyx's corpse. He's playing the waiting game. What's my flak? Oh, uh, I need to place legs. Slowly but surely, my armor was deteriorating, but I had found an angle on the Stalker. If we kill this Blood Stalker, we're gonna be in business. The Baryonyx's corpse was the perfect cover, however this player had taken it away from me by harvesting it. I'm pretty sure that's the generator right there. I'm pretty positive. There weren't any other possible structures in sight, so it had to be. Oh, my Bloodstalker got lit. Do I have any other weapons on me? No, I don't. Come on. Do that again. If he pulls us in, that's going to be very bad. Distant from the turret and behind cover, I'd found an angle.
Oh, okay, we're definitely weakening, the, weakening this bloodstone canal. Oh man, the bloodstoker is so bloody. Oh my god, okay, we killed the bloodstoker. With the bloodstoker taken out, all that was left was the player, and now the turrets. Things were starting to turn around. I'm pretty sure that's the generator right there. I'm going to switch over. What am I not going to use? I'm not going to use my cryopod. I seek cover from the turrets by creeping alongside the wall. The player ran towards me, but I expected this. Bowled him. Killed him. We have time now. What did he have on him? Baseball structures. Okay, what's my flak looking like? Chest piece almost broke. Do I have replacement? Uh, no, we don't have any better alternatives. We just need to make our way over to the generator. Oh, yes, his bed's right here. Where's my C4 debt? Oh, I have it. Come on, C4, don't glitch on me right now. Out of all the times. There we go. Are those turrets down? Yeah, all of his turrets are down, but he respawned in. Kill him. Oh no, wait, that was another player. I'm so confused. Do they have more bids? Oh my god. This guy's punching me around. I'm gonna steal these BPs while he punches me around. There we go. Oh no, you don't. I don't know how they're respawning in. Fabricator, two autos, metal, compound paste, oil. Okay, some useful resources there. Let's see if they had any flag BPs in the smithy. No, just had a gunpowder and had a paste and black pearls. We'll take that money to roll. This was their generator. I think they have bits somewhere around here. For those who don't know, there's actually an area at the top. Uh, they may have placed a spawn pad here. Yeah, they did. I give it to him. All right, let's search around. Let's make sure we're not missing anything. I'm pretty sure those beards are gone for good. I'm pretty sure this isn't a six times base base spot. Yeah, it's not six times in here. Let's get rid of these turrets first. Use our rockets. We'll come back with more C4. The reason I want to use C4 is because it's just quicker. I don't... I could use the Arthro, but right now I'm a bit in need of time not so much time but rather on edge i was nervous and scared that the players would return before i got into the vault so i needed to be fast all right got some arb let's see if they've given up in chat no they haven't well they haven't been saying anything at least this guy had stuff on him anything useful bowlers parachute nothing there all right let's rush back get some more uh c4 and come back Alright, back at base. I'm going to toss pretty much- I'll just toss everything in here. Oh man, so much loot. We'll have a look at the loot in a bit. Let's just- but let's just toss everything really quickly. Hurry, hurry, hurry. C4, 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 here we go. Yeah, we'll just take all 24. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, we're almost back. There's no way they could have constructed a ladder to get up to their base. Unless they have bed somewhere that I don't know. And I didn't necessarily check this cave too thoroughly, but... I think we got the, yeah, I don't see any ladders going up to the base. And I don't see any of, the, any of them in here. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Right, vault down. Let's see what we have here. 
Why even so many grenades? Holy grenades. Jeez. I didn't know any better they might have a trophy around. Even more grenades. And then it seems like that is the lot. Any good weapons? Nothing, just some average type weapons. Oh man, okay. And in the chem bench, which because we just blew that up. Insane gunpowder. This was so profitable on gunpowder and spark. Two resources we really needed. Or well, most of the time need. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna have one more look through. We did kill. This was the player's body. Did I loot him correctly? No, there was med bruise on him. Anything else I may have missed? Anything? No, I don't think so. Ah, forgot about you. Nothing on you. Nothing on you. Just in case, because their Baryonyx actually had all of their blueprints. From what it seems. We're going to take the Bloodstalker, we're going to go all the way to the back of the cave. Even the cabling from when we raided this earlier is actually still here. They didn't get rid of this. Not that they needed to. But I think that's everything. I'm going to check one more time at the very top area. Just in case they have like some hidden storage box. Hidden loot. Who knows? Polovia. Reaper. Going K mode. I doubt it. But you can never be too safe. So what's one rocket to all the spark and gunpowder we Oh man, now we have to commit. Man, you know. We'll use the grenades they gave us. Oh, I did not mean to throw that one. Okay, but yeah, nothing at the back. Okay, cool. Always better to be safe than sorry, and with the cave thoroughly checked, I made my way back to home base to check out the loot. Alright, so now we can pretty much check everything we got from the base. BP wise, let's see, I don't think we got anything special, we got some ARB, insane resources when it comes to paste and gunpowder, even spark as well, a ton of grenades. This was the only tame I got from them, which was that wyvern. But apart from that, I don't think there's necessarily anything too interesting in the BP department, what's this? Manta saddle. No, I don't think we're gonna be using that. Resource wise though, we definitely profited a ton. The risk versus reward for this raid was definitely worth it, but one thing you shouldn't risk is not being subscribed as you may miss out on an upload. Along with that, feel free to check out my Discord, I'll have a link to that straight in the description below. And if you'd like to see any more content or videos from me, then feel free to check out any other videos on screen or any on the channel. Other than that, I hope you're going to have a great rest of your day, and until next time, this has been your boy Senzar, signing out. Peace!